Hey two viewers, TJ Pyramid here, uh, coming at you with another review, and that is of a movie I've actually owned for a while, but just now got around to watching it. You know, sometimes you have movies that sit on the shelf for, I don't know, years. Uh, yeah, so I just decided to watch it. Uh, Lockout, of course, this is uh, Luc Besson Presents, uh, is also a story from an original idea of his, uh, directed by Saint and Mather, that's Stephen Saint Ledger and James Mather. Uh, this stars Guy Pierce, who I'm a big fan of, uh, like Guy Pierce, and uh, Mackie Grace, who is in the uh, terrible, terrible Fog remake, and uh, she was also on Lost for a season or two uh, before a character died. Oh, spoilers! But uh, basically, in this year, you have uh, Ma the Maggie Grace character here, who is uh, plays Emily. She's going up to this uh, prison in space. Um, to kind of do a press conference thing of like, you know, are you guys torturing the prisoners? Are they being treated fairly here? Because all the prisoners up there are stuck in these cryogenic chambers. Uh, so while she's there, uh, things go haywire and, uh, well, the prisoners escape. And um, the Guy Pierce character, Snow, uh, interesting little twist of to why his name is Snow, why he doesn't go by his first name, which is actually kind of funny at the end of the film. Uh, at least I enjoyed it. Uh, but anyway, uh, he's been uh, convicted of murdering a fellow uh, CIA agent. Um, but uh, he believes he was set up, and uh, they're basically going to give him 30 years in the cryostasis chambers up there. But uh, they strike a deal and say, hey, if you go up there and rescue the president's daughter, you know, we'll cut you a deal. So he agrees to it, and he goes up there. And uh, you can imagine what happens, you know, gunfights and stabbings and beheadings and things of that nature. Uh, I like the Guy Pierce character in this, the Snow character. Um, he's a smart ass. Uh, and the other thing I kind of noticed about it, and it's a uh, really one of the one of the last shots at the end of him, really kind of stood out in my mind. Uh, but he he smokes a lot in this film, and uh, kind of reminded me a lot of Humphrey Bogart for some reason. Um, I'm not really sure why. And, uh, the whole, um, interaction between, uh, Guy Pearce and Maggie Grace, the, uh, budding, obvious romance in this type of film that you know is going to happen, uh, that kind of reminded me of Casablanca. I don't know if it's just me, just, like, something weird in my brain that made it click that way, but, uh, yeah, um, because I'm used to seeing Humphrey in every film, you know, picking up a cigarette, lighting it up. And that's how it is with the Guy Pierce character. He's picking up a cigarette, and sometimes he'll just hold it in his mouth and things like that. And there's one shot at the end that kind of has, kind of, the camera's a little bit away from it. He's kind of looking kind of in a direction with the cigarette hanging out of his mouth, and he has the longer head. And it just, I was just like, Phew, Humphrey Bogart. So, I don't know. I mean, I enjoyed the film a lot. I thought it was a fun film. Um, some really, uh... Uh, some pretty memorable um, characters in this. Uh, Prisoner-wise, there's one guy that really stands out. He's as balls to the wall, nuts so crazy. Uh, but uh, his character really stood out in my head, uh, just being a really fun character. And uh, the Guy Pierce character is just such a smart ass. But uh, you know, he's just a uh, just a smooth dude in this film. Uh, really fun. Uh, well-written character. Of course, Luke Besson, you're going to get some good action in there. Um, the special effects are cool. Um, the CGI is... There's a there's a scene where they're chasing him, chasing him on a motorcycle, and it's almost like bad CGI, but then you're kind of like, well, no, I don't think it is, because it it kind of looks like a, like an anime, very cartoonish looking to the fill of it. I am I think that's what they were going for with uh, that certain scene, because uh, that, that's just what it seemed like to me. But uh, yeah, Lockout. It's a fun film. Um, I highly doubt anybody else is going to see Humphrey Bogart at Casablanca, or those that person or that movie is ever going to cross their mind when they see this, but it did me. But that's just me. Everybody sees something different, I guess. So check out Lockout. I love Luc Besson of everything he does, so if you're a fan of his, check this out, and uh, Die Hard meets Blade Runner. Not a, you know, not bad. So yeah, check it out, 
Also, really fun performance by uh, Peter Stormare, which, if you've seen him, you know him, and I probably pronounced his name wrong, which I'm sure I probably did. But uh, if you see him, you'll you'll know him. So yeah, I enjoyed the film. Good action, good acting, um, fun dialogue between all the characters. The Maggie Grace and Guy Pierce character have some really fun and funny scenes together. Uh, Guy Pierce is fantastic in this. Really smart ass. Really fun. Really funny. Uh, the action is good. The prisoners are cool. Uh, the bloodshed. The, uh, the the shooting of the guns. The stabbing of the knives. The uh, punching of the faces. All really fun. All really well done. Uh, nice little tidy wrap up ending. So yeah, check out Lockout. It's a fun flick. There we go. Comment down below. Subscribe. Spread the word. And cheers.